Growing up, my cousin and I used to travel off to a little town called Butler, PA, where our grandfather ran his landscaping business, Regna Landscaping, which was started back in 1989 with my father. Cutting 20 years a day was a life and an experience for myself, and I had also developed a love for landscaping at the young age of 10. Fast forward a few years, my grandfather retired the company, but I restarted only a few hours away here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now cutting with my father, who only helped me when he wasn't traveling, taught me important morals and lessons such as getting all your targeted lawns done for the day. This caused myself and my other colleagues to find a solution to this, because I was busy and wasn't able to get a drink. Good afternoon. My name is Luke Bregner, and I'm a part of Cutter Coaster. My business partners include myself, John McCann, Jimmy Passanetti, and Angelo Volumina. In 2020, we founded the Cutter Coaster with the simple mission to build a cup holder while mowing the lawn, used for both professional landscapers and homeowners. We want to fix this problem within the grass industry. Hi. On behalf of me and my colleagues, I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 Cutter Coaster final presentation. The coaster for your cut. So you can see this is our about us. John McCann is our CEO, our chief executive officer. James Passanante is our chief operating officer. Angela Volumina is our chief financial officer and chief design officer. And myself, I am the chief marketing officer and the chief human resources executive. So the problem that me and my colleagues have discovered within the world of lawn care is becoming very dehydrated while in the midst of mowing your lawn. And what normally what people do is they'll take off their dirty boots, go into their house, and you know, they'll sit in a nice AC with their uh, glass of ice water, and then once you're there, you don't want to go back outside in the hot summer sun to go out and your lawn. So the uh, solution that we came up with is actually a portable cup holder that can attach onto the side of your push lawn cover so you can take your beverage with you, so you can take a drink while you're going on, save you a bunch of time and energy instead of going inside. This right here is our almost famous coaster. It is our original prototype as well. We had to make no changes because we realized this is the best one yet. As you can see, there's a rubber clip jaw which clips on to any, as you can see, any part of the mower up here. The adjustable knob makes it tight, so it's very sturdy. The only way it's coming off is if you kick it off and it has just uh, automatic springs in the bottom so your drink will not fall out. It also has a trunk bed liner for a grip in order for another safety so your drink doesn't jump out while you're cutting the grass. And so for our competition, the uh, one we've gone up against is uh, riding lawnmowers or different kinds of lawnmowers have a built-in cup holder already inside of them. But the difference is that once the lap lawnmower dies, so does the cup holder. You won't be able to use it anymore. So with our, uh, with our product, you can, if your lawnmower were to die, you can take on with your cup holder and put on to your new lawnmower without issue. There is no competition for our cup holder. So the unique value, the unique value proposition that we found is it is an affordable price, usable year round, um, January through uh, December, because it attaches to all push mowers and snow blowers on this type of place on your, uh, where you're pushing, and it's made with a strong, durable plastic, the strongest that you can find. Like Luke said, the only way that it will break is if you kick it, punch it, which I don't know why you would do that. So, this is our financial model. The price that we are currently selling this product for is $19.99. We're getting the product for $7.99, and packaging is $1.99. This means we have a 52% profit margin, which is very good, and we hope over ordering large quantities that will even blow. All cutter coaster profits will also be invested, reinvested back into the company. So our customer product numbers, um, like we said before, homeowners and landscapers between the ages of 30 and 75. Our total addressable market is 1.2 million people within the Allegheny County area. Um, our serviceable investment market is within that Allegheny County area between those that age range. 41,000 people within a five mile radius from this high school. And that 15,000 people is the share of market within the age range around this high school. And we uh, estimated 1,000 early adopters. All right, so I'm in charge of a lot of the market tests. I have launched an Instagram and very quickly it gained a lot of followers and a lot of support. We are get, usually getting around 100 views per week on our Instagram. We also advertised up at Jefferson Hills Lawn Equipment where we got outstanding feedback and we had forms that people could fill out. 
Well, within 11 days, all 30 spots were filled, and people couldn't sign up because we had already filled them. So therefore, accounting for our product being $20 a piece, we are estimated to have about $600 in people waiting to order. Um, another way we're marketing to our customer base is through this promo video. Just restart it. Inside of the folder is a letter from the two owners of the place um, describing how big the market is for this cup holder in the wine industry. Here's the part two of it. As you can see, our flyers were put in the most um, visible places within the showroom and in front of the store. So every customer coming in and out can see that the cutter coaster is up there. So for our next video, as you can see, the cutter coaster makes the news. As of today, May 20th, in the morning around noon, the cutter coaster was on the news. Pittsburgh From energy on. drinks to mask cases to cup holders for lawn mowers, which I think is a genius idea. So this is the cutter coaster created by Luke, John, Angelo, and Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Why they're mowing the lawn in the snow? We like it. I mean, look at the <laughs> Maybe this is the May snow that we had, who knows? The winning team will have the opportunity to move on to a national pitch this summer in Chicago. Yes, but as he said, he said it was a genius idea. So this is our website. You could click on this, but we're going to save time and not click on that. But if you were to, this is what the home page looks like. We have an almost famous page where you can see the details about the cutter coaster like we've been showing you. You can order online, hear our story of our business, and contact us if you please. This is the Cutter Coaster agenda from March until the, now June. Um, in March, we wanted to finish the basics, such as finalizing the website, establishing agreements, and putting, talking to stores about putting it in. Boom, that is done. In April, we went up to Jefferson's Lawn Equipment and put a social media out. Boom, that's done, and as you can see, it's pretty successful. Um, in May, we finalized our MVP, got everything together about our customers, realized what they want, boom, that's done. And in June and future on, that's to be continued with continuing orders and building more relationships with more companies around here. All right, so what are we asking for, you might be asking yourself. And we're asking for $5,000 in exchange for 20% of our company. What are we doing with this $5,000? Well, we want to form a legal business, so this would cover our law fees. In addition, we want to upgrade our website and purchase a better domain. In addition to that, 
we want to increase our targeted marketing to ensure that we get to the correct customers. And finally, we want to get more orders and we want those orders to consist of our product and the packaging material required for that product. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate everybody coming out. I also like to take a special thanks to Mrs. Costello for um, guiding us through this whole journey. I also like to thank Mrs. Pete.